Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Willis, and you will love economics. Classical economists believe that flexible wages and changes in price level drive self-correction in the aggregate economy. Periods of excessive inflation and real GDP contraction are temporary because the macro economy will return to long-run equilibrium through natural market forces without outside influence or government intervention. Using the aggregate demand and aggregate supply graph, let's investigate how flexible wages and prices close GDP gaps and naturally return the economy to equilibrium. Suppose that the German economy is at long-run equilibrium, and the election of a new chancellor causes consumer confidence to increase in Germany. German consumers will feel more inclined to spend their disposable income, and consumers will purchase greater quantities of real GDP output at every price level. This increase in consumer spending will lead to an increase in aggregate demand in the German economy. After this fundamental change, the German economy will have a new short-run equilibrium. Prices will increase through demand pull inflation, and real GDP output will increase as firms boost aggregate quantities supplied to meet increased consumer demand. This new output of production means that the German economy is now experiencing an inflationary gap and is producing real GDP at a rate that is greater than its potential. It also means that Germany is experiencing excessive inflation as prices increase across the economy. Classical economists believe that the invisible hand will correct these imperfect market conditions and return the economy back to long-run equilibrium. The key to this happening is flexible wages. When aggregate demand increased in Germany, it caused a degree of demand pull inflation. According to the classical theory of macroeconomics, wages are flexible and should increase at the exact same rate as inflation. Once prices rise, consumers will lose purchasing power as goods and services become more expensive. In order to adjust for inflation and maintain purchasing power, workers will ask for higher wages to afford higher product prices. Because workers are in high demand, firms agree to pay the higher wages to workers. But the wage increase leads to higher production costs, causing firms to decrease their production levels. This increase in wages will lead to a decrease in short-run aggregate supply in the German economy. Due to flexible wages, the German macro economy has fixed itself, closing the inflationary gap that existed and returning back to long-run equilibrium. The economy experienced a short-run increase in output and consumption which drove up prices and wages. Eventually, as resource costs rose due to flexible wages, firms cut back production, causing the economy to return to a sustainable rate of output without government intervention. Now suppose that the German economy is at long-run equilibrium, and a new trade deal between Great Britain and the European Union causes the price of imported inputs to rise in Germany. German firms will now find it harder to hire workers, purchase equipment, or pay for production costs leading firms to decrease their production levels. This increase in resource prices will lead to a decrease in short-run aggregate supply in the German economy. After this fundamental change, the German economy will have a new short-run equilibrium. Prices will increase through cost-push inflation, and real GDP output will decrease as consumers reduce aggregate coin demanded after inflation. This new output of production means that the German economy is now experiencing a recessionary gap and is producing less real GDP output than it potentially could produce. Again, classical economists believe that flexible wages are the key to correcting these imperfect market conditions and returning the economy back to long-run equilibrium. When short-run aggregate supply decreased in Germany, it caused real GDP contraction as firms scaled back production due to rising costs. During this recession, workers are no longer needed as much as they used to be, and so labor demand is low in Germany. According to the classical theory of macroeconomics, wages are flexible, and as firms decrease their demand for workers, wages will decrease in the economy. Eventually, as wages bottom out and it becomes more affordable to produce goods and services, German firms will begin to rehire and scale their production, increasing the quantity of real GDP output supplied at every price level. This decrease in wages will lead to an increase in short-run aggregate supply in the German economy. Due to flexible wages, the German macroeconomy has fixed itself, closing the recessionary gap that existed and returning to long-run equilibrium. The economy experienced a short-run decrease in output, which drove down wages. Eventually, as resource costs fall due to flexible wages, firms increase production, 
causing the economy to return to a sustainable rate of output without government intervention. Now suppose that the German economy is at long-run equilibrium, and fears of an economic recession cause firms to become hesitant about opening new factories and hiring new workers. German firms will determine it's a bad time to take out new loans and reinvest in their production capabilities, and a better time to cut back costs and protect profits. This decrease in investment spending will lead to a decrease in aggregate demand in the German economy. After this fundamental change, the German economy will have a new short-run equilibrium. Prices will decrease, and real GDP output will decrease, as firms reduce aggregate quantity supplied to adjust for decreased consumer demand. This new output of production means that the German economy is now experiencing a recessionary gap and is producing less real GDP output than it potentially could produce. Again, classical economists believe that flexible wages are the key to correcting these imperfect market conditions and returning the economy back to long-run equilibrium. When aggregate demand decreased in Germany, it caused real GDP contraction as firms bought fewer capital goods. During this recession, workers are not needed as much as they used to be, and so labor demand is low in Germany. According to the classical theory of macroeconomics, wages are flexible, and as firms decrease their demand for workers, wages will decrease across the economy. Eventually, as wages bottom out and it becomes more affordable to produce goods and services, German firms will begin to rehire and scale their production, increasing the quantity of real GDP output supplied at every price level. This decrease in wages will lead to an increase in short-run aggregate supply in the German economy. Due to flexible wages, the German macroeconomy has fixed itself, closing the recessionary gap that existed and returning to long-run equilibrium. The economy experienced a short-run decrease in output, which drove down wages. Eventually, as resource costs fell due to flexible wages, firms increased production, causing the economy to return to a sustainable rate of output without government intervention. Now suppose that the German economy is at long-run equilibrium, and the German government announces a repeal of regulation laws that apply to domestic firms. German firms will find it easier to produce goods and services freely and without restriction, leading firms to increase their production levels. This decrease in regulation will lead to an increase in short-run aggregate supply in the German economy. After this fundamental change, the German economy will have a new short-run equilibrium. Prices will decrease, and real GDP output will increase as consumers increase aggregate quantity demanded after deflation. This new output of production means the German economy is now experiencing an inflationary gap and is producing real GDP at a rate that is greater than its potential. Again, classical economists believe that flexible wages are the key to correcting these imperfect market conditions and returning the economy back to long-run equilibrium. When short-run aggregate supply increased in Germany, it caused real GDP expansion as firms scaled production. During this expansion, workers are needed more than they used to be, and so labor demand is high in Germany. According to the classical theory of macroeconomics, wages are flexible, and as firms increase their demand for workers, wages will increase across the economy. Eventually, as wages top off and it becomes more expensive to produce goods and services, German firms will begin to cut back on their workforce and scale back their production, decreasing the quantity of real GDP output supplied at every price level. This increase in wages will lead to a decrease in short-run aggregate supply in the German economy. Due to flexible wages, the German macroeconomy has fixed itself, closing the inflationary gap that existed and returning to long-run equilibrium. The economy experienced a short-run increase in output, which drove wages up. Eventually, as resource costs rose due to flexible wages, firms decreased production, causing the economy to return to a sustainable rate of output without government intervention. And that's Natural Economic Adjustments. Be sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting the red button below so you can receive alerts about new videos when they become available. If you enjoy the channel or find my videos useful, let me know by liking the video and feel free to leave a comment below. We have full video lectures on every topic in macro and microeconomics, as well as quick macro and micro minute videos for cram sessions and quick reviews. If you'd like to learn more, you can click here for my aggregate equilibrium video or you can click here for my Classical versus Keynesian Theories video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on You Will Love Economics.